This is going to be an important rule that we want to remember. You'll know it's this rule if you ever see there's like cosines and sines and like 90 minus stuff like that. So we'll try to draw a pretty simple right triangle here. So right triangle. We'll give this two main angles we want to focus on. Let's call this A and B. And we'll always give it two pretty easy angles because again, if this is already 90, we know A and B have to add up to 90, complementary. Uh, we'll say A is 30 and we'll say B is 60. So if they said something like, uh, you know, we'll call it a three, four, five triangle. If we said, okay, what is the sine of 30 in this triangle? I would say the sine of 30 is opposite over hypotenuse. And if they then said, okay, well, what is the cosine of 60, the cosine of our other angle here? Well, that's also going to be adjacent over hypotenuse four over five. So our main thing here is if you're ever taking the sine and cosine of two angles that add up to 90 degrees, those are always going to be the same, right? So another way to put it is like the sine of an angle and the cosine of 90 minus that angle, because that adds up to 90, those are always going to be equal and vice versa. Cosine of an angle is going to be equal to the sine of 90 minus that angle. So if you ever see a problem like this, since I know that the sine of X is A, I know that the cosine of 90 minus that x, for instance, if this x was 30, in uh, C, I would see 90 minus 30, which would make this 60. And we just showed in our example that these are going to be equal to each other. It's just going to be C here.